Menu Reader. Off. Press L2 button to toggle. Um, that should be good. Let me just test out. Ah. Audio. Okay, everything seems to be good. everything's good okay it should be fun I'll go with Fidelity for now, and then we'll maybe change it later. Okay, everything seems fine on the audio, <clears throat> so we'll keep it at that. Um, okay. Terms of service, of course, yep. Awesome. So, yep, we got our Hufflepuff house. Unicorn hair, maple, ten and three quarter inches, quite bendy. Okay. Brightness is 
fine. I can barely see it, so that should be good. And we have our letter. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Turn it again begins on 1 of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside the school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has, gen has graciously allow uh, agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of Term Feast and the Sorting Ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Okay. Okay, and this is where we get to customize our character. Um, they have a good num a good amount of presets, by the looks of it. Um, very good amount of presets, by the looks. Oh, uh, we'll go with that one for now, and then we'll just see what else we got. Faces. No. That one might be good. I think that one's good. Skin color's fine. So we have Harry Potter glasses. Dumbledore glasses, and I don't know whose glasses that would be modeled after, but I definitely, that would be more me. Hairstyles. A lot of hairstyles. Um, okay, so right now it's kind of like a black or a really dark brown. Um, I think that honestly might be good, and it's kind of a brownish red, like brown. Yeah, kind of blonde. Gray. That's black. Okay. Gray. White. White. That's a really dark brown. That would fit me, um, color-wise. Um, let's see. What kind of hair dials do we have? No. Not for me. Good haircut, though. That's just too much. Uh, too much, I think. It looks kind of like... That one definitely looks like Anakin from Episode 2. What was that one? Not bad, I just don't like the slick back. That's... Not terrible, it's curly. It's just not my curly. That's a mess. I think the texture- they got the texture on the hair pretty damn good. Like, the texture on the hair looks pretty darn good. Ponytail. Bun. Bun. I like the hairstyle so far from what I'm seeing. That is Harry Potter. In, um... In a couple of the movies, he has that short hair. That's, uh, definitely in the last one, if I remember right. That's too curly. Hmm. Honestly, that fits me really well for the most part. The middle, not so much, but the sides with all the curls going everywhere, yep. Definitely. Flexion. Pickles and mold. 
very freckly, but I don't have any freckles. So we're gonna zero that out. Scars. Damn, that's fancy. What the heck? How's that? Um, we got a light gash along there. Claw marks. Claw mark. Scorch mark? I don't know what that is. Ooh, damn. That's a nasty one. And like that that looks like a scar that you wouldn't live through because that is a uh, nasty one. like that is that looks like it was from a lot of damage same with that one honestly that one looks like it's from a lot of damage too mm, i think clean's pretty good i just i don't know i like scars because you can like make your own head cannon about what happened before you went to hogwarts Like, let's say, like, I was attacked by something, and that's how I learned I could use accidental magic, maybe? I don't know. Simple. But yeah, I like that one. Eyes. Eye color. I don't... How are you gonna give you an- how are you gonna give, like, as the eye color, like, being a slider, and then not make it so you can zoom in? Like, that's, like, kind of an oversight. Because it's kind of hard to tell what I'm setting it to. Um... I guess that one's the closest I can think of. Eyebrow color needs to be... Is that matching? I hope that's matching. Yep, that's about right. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some... I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm glad they fixed the pitch, because that was an issue with uh, the gameplay demos. From what I heard was the pitch was kind of bugged. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A f I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Now, what was the name? I picked out one before... Um, beforehand. I don't remember what it was. Okay, there it is. we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working mm. with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! 
have my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me okay. tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. And what did he see? Uh... What's pulling the carriage? Is it? Is it... Is the carriage being pulled by Festrals? Because he had like invisible reins. So either there's like no point to that or he was being pulled by Festrals. Okay, I'll turn down the music as, the, the game as soon as I can, but right now I'm kind of stuck. Starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, He's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. Of course. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far in the ministry. Yeah, of course, he works in the ministry. Of course, he's good at flattery. Have you seen this? I have. Opinions they cut out the date. As to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Or at least the year. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. I'm not crazy, I swear. Merlin's beard. Uh, how did you wait? We did. Okay, hello. That's a dragon. Holy shit. Okay, well, that man's dead. Oh wow, okay, damn. There, there was best rolls. Damn, so okay, that's Okay, fairly quickly they they go ahead and get that out of the way.
Nice. Good job. That's a good save there. Good save there, man. But yeah, I... Mm, interesting. Kind of disappointed that we didn't stop at Diagon Alley. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan Well Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Okay, down his heel. Okay. Damn, that stuff works fast. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Interesting, okay. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. All right, okay, I can go to the menu now? Okay, good, thank God, okay. Torn Fidelity for now. I might adjust that later. Um. Okay, so let's turn music down. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Sound effects will turn down a bit. And then, god dang it, I keep wanting to uh, and then dialogue will turn down to 80. Okay. Uh, display subtitles, yes. Okay, subtitles are on. Duplicates on hard. Okay. Interesting. I'll have to wait until I get to inverting to worry about that. Um, I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. It was kind of sharp. I'll worry about that later, though. Tell me soon enough. That's the menu I got access to. Okay, that should be all, that should be everything. Anything back here? No. Okay. This scene. I didn't realize this was gonna be so early on. Interesting. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, <coughs> and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Well, I'm sure it's the path right in front of us, sir. Anything behind me? No? Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Let me check something real quick. Fidelity with ray for interesting. Okay. Ancient magic. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. I really like the coat I have. 
I wouldn't mind having one of those in real life. Oh, I'm at it. Let me help again. Okay. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But, sir. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic I'm gonna is guess no there's probably a reason. Any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Hello. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh, that was easy. Excellent. I don't know what the point of an enchantment is if it gets taken out that easily. Okay. Of course, obligatory sliding part. Your one works improving with every car. Thank you, sir. I'm already liking the animations of the wand casting. Oh, hello! Just some gold? Okay. Or galleons, I, I, I guess. Galleons, canoots. And sickles. We're close now. It's just ahead. Oh, yep. Here we go. Here's the trailer shot. I swear, Reparo is such a awesome spell. Knowing that oh, one spell man. alone could make somebody like have the best <laughs> shop in existence. Like, oh, I'll fix your car. How long it'll take? Uh, um, an, an hour. Ten minutes later, it's done. <laughs> Someone have built this here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Mm, okay. I like how his animation like changes depending on like if what we, we area I'm facing when I shoot. So so he does that, but then if I turn around and then he kind of like does a backward shot. But there's one earlier where he kind of like did it like underneath his arm. What is this? Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Maybe. Interesting statue. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to go. Come on, there you go. What is this? Hello? 
Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. I guess. Still curious to damn where this place is or what going on here. Excuse me, Professor. I'll just run ahead. You know, the kid that you're supposed to be guarding. Whatever. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? I don't know. That's a good question. What's this? Professor Fig. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. There. I actually had to wait for him. Okay, that's interesting. How odd. Why would <clears throat> someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Interesting. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. This is Green Gods, isn't it? Hello? Excuse me, good sir. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. The key. Yep. Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yeah, of course. This way, then. So is it a one-time use port key, or...? Stay close. Does Porky's just not work on goblins? After you. And vault number 12, that's a really low number. That's interesting. Because almost every vault that's ever, like, opened... Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> ...is always vault, vault number 367, vault 793. Like... So actually having a vault that's like a, like a 12, that's interesting. Why would I skip this? How many vaults are there in Green Gods? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Green Gods? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. Interesting. You want to take a breath? A what? Ah. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts yeah. was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Interesting. I love the contraption they use to travel Vault in Bloomgut. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. Our 
Momentous day, huh? Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, the darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. And then he left as soon as we got there, and I'm guessing he went to go tell somebody something. Which, if the trailer's anything to go by, probably ran wrong. Last time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Interesting. I wonder what's inside. I love the doors. I love the doors. They're so cool. Vault 12. Reminds me of the door guarding the Philosopher's Stone. Like on the inside when it's like opening and everything. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Okay. <sighs> Professor? was certainly unexpected. I mean... Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes. A revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Interesting. Are they going to do that with every spell? Because that's actually kind of interesting. I like that. Revelio. There. I saw something. Move there! Why <laughs> he fucking like pointed so aggressively? Just a bunch of candles. A few scrolls. Some chalices. Goblet. Nothing really, but I'm surprised he hasn't checked any of them, to be honest. a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the porky container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Okay. Uh... This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Okay. I kind of just want to keep going exploring, but I feel like this is one of those areas where there's not going to be any loot, just wandering around. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Okay. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. 
That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Rebellion. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, well, okay. Here's another spell. Okay, Lumos. Are the one lighting charm, Lumos, uh, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Okay. God damn it, I tried. God damn it. God damn it. I keep hitting triangle and it's not doing something sometimes. The timing is kind of... Okay. Well, I'm out of living worlds. Professor, Professor Fig. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, where What's the lights happening? are leading, I guess. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, we got another one. Ah, that's where they're leading. That glow again. Great. Okay. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Okay. Four. Holding, yeah, holding try. Yeah, I already know about that. Not too bad. 
The holding for Skipify isn't too bad. Combat's very simple so far, but mainly I'm just kind of looking forward to when I can do the combos. That's when I'm gonna have some fun. Because right now it's just tapping R2 and dodging. That's all it is right now. Um, but once it starts going more in depth, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Lumos. Of course, sprint button. Oh, hello. What are you? <laughs> okay. Oh, doorway. Okay. Where is Professor Fig? A basin. Oh, hello, chest. Some money. Water. Uh, nothing there. Water. Another chest. Money. Water. Water. Nothing else? No. Okay. Well, assuredly, I need to interact with this. What are you? The potion vial? did you... What is this place? I don't good, know. Good, I, good question. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Okay, cool. I hey, guess that's a memory? Watch it like the potion to immortality and we just pour it into a basin and ruin it. Follow my lead. Yeah, Pensies are really cool. I love Pensies. And who are you? The poor key is well hidden, perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. Okay. We've done all that we can. So, we have a Rookwood? And what was the other guy's name? I, I, mean, I didn't see what his name was, but I saw the Rookwood, which I know them. I believe the, one of the antagonist's last name is Rookwood. The Glow. That surrounded them. Yes, sir. There's also a Rookwood who's a Death Eater in, um... Can I see The Harry Potter magic. timeline. Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never... 
find it further? Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. Okay, then. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Magic is easy. Oh, but this place did not like that. No, no, no. Damn. Okay, then. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? I mean, granted, they are an ancient, you know. <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability. To end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yes, and we're probably late. So that one let out, so the other, the exit that it led us to was in the dark forest. Oh, look at that! The cool, the cool little train bridge. I let the train just got to the station, and maybe not, maybe we aren't late. Oh, the gate, yeah! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Getting just the right amount of fanfare. Oh, I love that castle. Okay. So, so far, all we started, we have Revelio and we have Lumos, and that's it right now. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, okay. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. 
They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Okay. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Eh? <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Ah, the great all. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. <laughs> ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come More here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Okay. Mm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Sounds good to me. The sorting hat looks kind of jank, though, when it's talking. I'm not gonna lie. Bring out and take your choice into account when sorting into house. A buff house, known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Yep, I'm fine with that. That's the one I got assigned on the. Better be Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff! Oh, I love that. That's cool. <laughs> And I, I, I like how the robes actually, like, kind of messed with the stool, because a oh, lot of the time, you know, clipping and all that thing. shit. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Damn, I don't get to attend the feast. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. I think that's what she was about to do. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you as well, well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Of course. I gotta say, out of all the, com all the common rooms look amazing, but I really love that. It's that was quite a little uncommon weird. for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work. 
But I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Okay. Now go on in and get some sleep. I opened really quickly. That was kind of weird. Tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. New day. Looks we like have... everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Oh, nice a little cup of tea. Okay. Um. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Am I able to change my appearance? Not yet, I guess. I would like to equip my fanatic robes. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm not able to at the moment. Oh, nice. We got a little moving portrait. Nice. Okay, cool. Like how all of them are kind of like winding path. It's like a hobbit hovel. Oh. Yes, yes, it is. And we'll just kind of explore. I love it. Hello, what are you? Oh, a level three. I have to I have to get a little more, level it up so that I can steal from my fellow student. <laughs> ah, nice. I suppose some introductions are in order. Okay. Introduce myself to some people. Lenora something. Oh hello. She's Hi. awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. I... Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already That's know. That's not terrible. I've seen worse. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind... I'd feel so inadequate. Of course. I say something? Presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. Uh. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. Okay. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Uh, I'm sure, yeah. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. And the thing is, uh, Ravenclaw's more than just having wit, it's also about... Ooh, nice! Giant chunk of cake! 
Damn, just go around eating and drinking everything you fucking see. Oh, hello. oh, that's the fat fryer. Hello. Hello, how are you? Who are you? Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Well, thank you. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Okay. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Arthur's got you. It's all right. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh. Come on. You went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll okay. find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowdruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> Anyway, Mushroom I'd better thing. go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff scheme mm. that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was probably the case when, uh... Nice he meeting said that she didn't you, like Arthur. magical animals. Good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. I shall do my best. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Has she really been waiting for me? That's kind of weird. Like, just have somebody wake me up and get me. Hello. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light True. of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion okay. with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Okay. Ah, this is a field guide. Nice. Here you are. Getting in kind of early. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Okay. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Okay, cool. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk yeah, that might help. And we shall put it to the test. Okay. Rebellion. Here. Come here. 
God damn it, I won't show up yet. Fine, tutorial, let's go. Uh, chess? No. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I'm keeping up, ma'am. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. What is that? Is that a mushroom? Revelio. House Elf Recipe Book. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations, this book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes, like pickled dirigible plums, are likely an acquired taste. You've unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Okay, cool. Field guide challenges are the only way to... Uh, okay, open field guide. Uh, this is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Collecting your first page unlocks a new challenge category. New challenges will unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. <clears throat> each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlocked for each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Interesting. Hogwarts Regalia Spectacles. Okay. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back here often to collect rewards you've unlocked. Okay, cool. Clever, isn't it? Yes. Uh, first, though. Gear. Changing some things of what I have. Gold rimmed, circular. No, I'll keep what I had. Headwear. Dark flat cap. Interesting. No, I don't want to have that right now. Neckwear. It's a beige scarf. No, thank you. Cloak and robe. So... Hold on, where's my house fanatical robe? Because I know I unlocked it. Or do I have to, like, do something to actually, like, view it? There we go. Weird. I don't know why. I, I, I'm. It's an appearance thing, apparently, I guess? It's not like an actual item, which is kind of weird. Can 
masks. Don't need that. Oh, nice. And then I can have the hood up if I wanted to. Okay, cool. Okay, let me see something. I want to see what the apparent options I have are. Uh, go with that one. So yeah, so they're in as, like, appearances that I can do. Interesting. Okay. Odd. I kinda, I kinda, kinda weird that it doesn't, like, just do it as an item, but whatever. Um... Collections already went to there, but this is the field guide page, which... I wish I wouldn't do that, because you read it when you get it, but no, whatever. Welcome to Hogwarts. Okay. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Okay. I really do like these robes. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Oh, wow. Two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and uh, includes the house common rooms and the great hall. Uh, you can see the flu flames are available in that region. Okay. Right side of the map is where you find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Central flu flame for you. Okay, well. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay. Um, what's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Uh, and charms. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a he looks really clever cool. and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. And Defense Against the Dark Arts. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? D 
Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Okay. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. I got he did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Now, am I actually going to tell her or am I just going to be like, there is more, but I can't, I'm not going to speak about it. Mm, I don't want to lie to her. I actually like her a lot. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hold and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself might i rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel okay. obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Uh, completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spells and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or the have the required spells to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Track a quest. Uh, we'll go to Charms class. Yeah, but Accio is going to be <clears throat> really nice to have. 
The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Did I miss a locket? I don't remember a locket. Charmed Compass. Revelio. Oh, it's marking that, okay. If you pay attention. Oh, thank you. What am I missing? Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. I'm sure there is. Can you learn anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Okay, I'll have a look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Yeah, um, what was that you Do said come before and find about which stumble on something illuminating Lumos. To solve the mystery? That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. I already know where it is. It was over here, I believe. Yep. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. The way I run with my wand raised like that. Come on. I have to. Ha! I knew okay. there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Okay, and that's the challenge. Right? Uh, challenges. Hogwarts regalia gloves. Okay, interesting. So one of my... That's a collection, so it's an appearance item. That's just weird. Why would I want that? That's just weird. Like, that just looked weird. Um, okay. Yep, but, right, let's tell her. Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting! You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide him off back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. Nah, you, you have, have tons of solving wit. riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Okay. The moth. I should have seen that. Now, what was... So, I got... Okay, challenge or whatever. But... Um... 
I, I thought I saw something else also be unlocked because I got the yeah Hogwarts regalia. But I also have what's this? Cobalt regalia, an ensemble for those with poison refinement earned by solving the mystery of the empty uh, painting painting frame. Interesting. Okay, cool. Sure, I guess. Cool. So you all unlock a bunch of like cosmetics and shit as you. Uh... Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Okay. Interesting. Legendary gloves? Bookish half rim spectacles. Legendary glove. Interesting. Okay, so it doesn't want me to go up. Okay. Revelio. That's just the loot, yeah. Okay. I'm literally gonna be running all over Hogwarts. Oh, he's. Okay, I need to go this way. Rebellion. Okay, I'm hearing something. Where is it? Up? Oh, no. I hear something. Whatever. Fence against the Dark Arts Tower. Revelio. I. Oh, can I pet the cat? I can pet the cat, yes. Nothing. Okay. He has charms right there. Some of us don't necessarily the chest. want him to get back to the lesson. And a flu. Hi, charms the last room. Nice. Werewolves join the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you in the goblin rebellion of 1752? And by the end of it. The Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. Okay. Oh, well, so. I say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flat? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a Boot, and he says it's a Flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Rebellion. How does this work? I'm curious now. I'm doing like puzzle door, but like I saw one of those earlier, but I'm still not sure exactly how they work. Another cat, nothing else in here. Oh, chest though. Nice. Anything up here? Hello. Revelio. Hmm. 
Uh, I'll, I'll worry about all the exploring later once I have some spells that I can actually use to, you know. Well, like that one, like that page right there. Anything in here for me to? Hello. Oh, a locked door, a eh? level one lock. Okay. I have to wait until I get a Mora for that. Revelio. Okay. Let's do charms. Do what we got. Here. A floating teapot. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Did it look that filled? Hello. I thought that I am looked pretty empty. Well, there. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> Didn't you? By the looks of it, tell you us all to open spent our books to page whatever. Practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you? Even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Wait, didn't you tell us to turn our books to page like 517 or whatever? And then when I was opening a book, he was like, hey, not, not time to study now. It's like, what? Nice. Okay. Akio. is not bad I mean, you simple, are a simple self. swift learner i see a lot of potential but remember potential is nothing without practice keep at it you might just rival miss onai here very good everyone that's enough of that well as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day i was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air after me. I believe he's a Slytherin too. He's kind of a one of those cases of somebody who's from one house that you wouldn't necessarily attribute them just by looking at them. <sighs> or by interacting more so interacting with them in hand with a, a little bit because as I'm sure it's very the cheerful and seems kind of more like a hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit or a raven of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test? Right? <laughs> hmm. 